Photoshop has been around for nearly a quarter of a century, and I think a big part of that is due to the fact that it has an extensible architecture. So if there's functionality that isn't present in Photoshop, it can be added either by Adobe or by third parties. So file formats or functionality. And in the case of third-party plugins, a lot of the time it's about making things easier to use. Let's take a look at one of my very favorite plugins in Photoshop. Here's a color image, and I want to make this black and white. And there are a lot of different ways to do this in Photoshop, but one of the best ways to do it is using a third-party plugin called Nick Silver Effects Pro. The great thing about this plugin is it's really friendly and familiar. Right off the bat, it looks a lot like Lightroom. I've got all of these different presets on the left-hand side. I can click on these. I get a nice contextual preset that shows me what things are going to look like. And if I want to see it even closer, I click on it, and it's applied to my image. And then on the right-hand side, I can work from that preset. So if I want to make it a little bit darker or brighter, structure is very similar to clarity, which is to say that the mid-tone contrast will get a little crunchier or softer. So I can really play around with the drama of the image by moving structure. I can use traditional black and white filters, like a red filter, which is going to make the sky darker. I could emulate film stock and grain. And then when I'm ready, I can either click this Compare button to see where I started, or I could even see toggled previews or split previews the way I would in Lightroom. Nick makes a whole bunch of really great plugins. There's a ton of different plugins. This one's one of my favorites, and anyone doing black and white should definitely give it a try. Now, the great news about third-party plugins is not only are there hundreds of them, but almost all of them have a free trial, so you can play around with them. In fact, some of them are just free. So if you were to Google plugins Photoshop, you'd come up with all sorts of long lists. There's a really great one that I like on this creative site here, the 43 best Photoshop plugins. You can see that this was written recently, and if we scroll down this list, we'll notice that not only do we get a nice overview of a particular technology, we'll get the price, who it's good for, and a brief summary on the technology. And if I want to check this out, I can just click on the link, it'll pop me over to that site, and I can pull down a download or a trial of that. If we come back to this site, scroll down, I can see that there are plugins for all sorts of different uses. And down here at number 11 is that one we just looked at, Silver Effects Pro. Now, most of these are available for Photoshop or Lightroom. Some of them are available as standalones. But you'll quickly find that if you have an interest in some particular area of Photoshop, there's almost certainly a plugin for it. And if you have some rare file format, there's a very good chance that Photoshop can open it using a plugin.